Chris Greener is certainly huge. I'm six feet tall, yet he dwarfs me. His gigantism has occasionally caused him problems, and not all of them are due to his height. Back in 1971, I was having double vision, and uh, I had my eyes tested, they were perfectly okay. And my doctor said, I want you to go and see this guy at um, Bart's Hospital. He looked at everything, and uh, I mean everything. And I thought, hang on a minute, the old one-eyed trousers are looking perfectly well, mate. It's uh, the double vision's up here, pal. <laughs> um, and he mentioned something about the pituitary gland, and I'd never heard of this. Didn't know what, what the hell is a pituitary gland, but no idea what it is. But it is his wayward pituitary that links him to another London giant, Charles Byrne, who lived nearly 200 years before Chris was born. Charles Byrne was born in 1761 in Ireland. His skeleton still hangs in the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons in London, where he's known affectionately as Charlie. Charlie died at the age of 22. It's thought that he drank himself to death. But this skeleton isn't actually Charlie's. The Royal College acquired his skeleton under dubious, not to say embarrassing, circumstances and they won't let us film it. The story goes that Charles Byrne feared that his corpse would end up on the dissection table. He was right. When he died, says one report, anatomists surrounded his house just as harpooners would an enormous whale. Those are his feet you can see dangling in the top right corner of this picture. It's a portrait of the surgeon John Hunter, who got the corpse, boiled it down, and put it on display. It was only much later that someone worked out why Charlie was so tall. In 1911, Sir Arthur Keith, then curator of his remains, sawed Charlie's skull in half and looked inside. He found that the cavity left by the pituitary gland, normally the size of a pea, was in Charlie's skull the size of a small tomato. The pituitary is immensely powerful. It secretes growth hormone into the bloodstream, which then sends a simple message to the body cells, grow and divide. It is the multiplier of our flesh and bones. I was told I had over 200 times the amount of growth hormone and the results of these growth hormones that was obviously made me grow. 